Hey there YouTube, this is Elliot, and you are watching Elliot's Vlog. Hello there. Um, this is going to be a little bit of a ranting session, so if you don't like those, you know, move on to the, <laughs> the previous clip. Um, this is a, a rant about technology. Um, I have this phone, and this tablet, and a Nook, and my um, MacBook Pro right there, and this camera, which is a, what is this? This is a... Uh, Panasonic. <laughs> Sorry, I had to turn it around to look. So, um, I sw st stopped using the camera because I was getting a good quality video on my phone, which was working out. It was filming in HD, and then I finally figured out what I was doing wrong <laughs> on my camera and uh, switched that to HD. So, you'll be most likely getting some videos with this camera again and in HD, which is cool. Now, my complaint about this is this is a Galaxy S3, or no, I'm sorry, S4. Um, at the time I bought it, it was a really good phone, uh, did its job, and I've had it now for about two, two years, because I did the, uh, showing of it when I bought it on a vlog, you know, about two years ago. Uh, now, I did an update on this phone, and there was no disclaimer saying that, you know, if you have an older phone, don't do it, because <laughs> it may mess up your phone. It just said, update available, so I did it. Um... I took it to AT&T, and they said that I shouldn't have done the uh, update, because now, every once in a while, it says SIM card missing, and it will actually power itself off, and I can't make phone calls until it powers itself back on, and recognizes that there is indeed a SIM card, and connection is fine. Um, so yeah, so that's my first beef. <laughs> Second beef is with this. This is the Samsung Galaxy Tablet S... Three. That's where I was getting mixed up. I bought this when, it, when they were phasing these out, and it only cost me like about $150, I believe. But same thing with this. This thing was kind of caught in a loop um, for a while. I actually took this to work because I could actually um, have a tablet and my phone out uh, in between calls, and I could be on the Internet, and they actually have free Wi-Fi there. Um, so I did that, and I brought it home after that because I just thought this was too big. So... After that, it was caught in a loop um, because there was a update that was pending and it kept on powering itself on, powering itself off, powering itself on, powering itself off. And this does have an SD card in here, so I took the SD card out and powered it back up and it worked fine again. But uh, then I took the, uh, the, I put the SD card back in and it did it again. So, and then, and then of course, there was an update, no disclaimer, did the update, and I'm having problems with this. <laughs> this was working fine um, until the update, and now the battery life on this thing sucks. It's like you, you power it up, it, it gets charged. Um, I used to leave this on and on my dresser by my bed, you know, all day while I was at work, and it would still have a charge on it. Now when I come home this thing has no battery power to it. And I kind of lost my faith in this thing, uh, so I've actually gone back to using my Nook, <laughs> which is interesting because they don't make those anymore, but it works great for what I use it for. You know, I watch YouTube videos on this, and I play some games on here. Um, but yeah, kind of annoyed with Samsung right now. So my question is, you know, when you have problems with this, do you still continue to use the technology or do you go back to Apple? Because, you know, I have my MacBook Pro, and that's kind of taken apart right now because that's almost 10 years old, and I was trying to play EVE Online with that, which actually used to work really well on, on that computer, but um, now it's not working because of its age, I guess. I don't know. So, you know, it's like, <laughs> I've got these great things. I bought this because I, I got great reviews on the phone. I watched YouTube videos. I did all kinds of research on it and fell in love with the phone. But then stuff like this and this, it's like, you do the research on it, but then when it comes to an update, what do you do? You know, I'm, I'm, this almost makes me want to go back to Apple. Uh, I don't want to pay the, you know, the, the fees that Apple charge, but um, that might be the deciding factor to make me go back. I'm, I'm kind of disappointed in Samsung and Galaxy right now, um, but I do look forward to... Um, 
getting a new phone. Um, I was looking at the Note 4, um, I'm, or the Note 5. Uh, my wife actually got it. She loves it. Uh, I just can't afford it right now because I'm actually saving up for a car. But, uh, yeah. So, we'll see where I go because I'll be looking, after I buy a car, I'll be looking for a new laptop and it's definitely not going to be a Mac. <laughs> at least not for for uh, gaming like I do. You know, I'm a casual gamer, but playing EVE Online and uh, Star Trek Online, this computer is not built for that. So, so yeah, so leave your comments down below. This is kind of a long vlog. Um, kind of frustrated with technology. Um, let me know what uh, you guys do in a situation like that. And do you do updates on your phone? And do you see... Um, things that I missed, like a disclaimer saying, hey, yo, don't do this because it will kill your phone. Let me know. All right. Well, thank you for tuning in and you guys have a good day. Bye.